I cannot end this address without highlighting for the Ugandans the little comedy that was played out recently when we had by elections in different parts of Uganda for some local governments, local government positions on the 16th of December 2021. Was it comedy or tragedy? The positions for the by elections in the whole country were 827. Some were LOC, there was one LOC 5, there were also some LOC 3s, some municipality seats, councillors, ETC. The NRM won 392 of them unopposed. With where the NRM had to compete with other parties, plus the unopposed, the NRM won as shown here below as compared to the other parties. Out of the 827, I think, NRM got 678. Independence got 103. DP got 7. UPC 7, NOOP 13, FDC 19. The NRM's direct share of win was therefore 82%. However, many of the independents were also NRM on account of their internal wrangles. Therefore, the pro-NRM sentiment won a total of 94%. The others won as follows. NOOP 2%, DP 1%, UPC 1%, FDC 2%. The tragic comedy in the affair had three elements. Element number one, for NOOP and their media supporters, including the foreign ones, there was no Uganda but Kayunga. Kayunga, Kayunga, Kayunga. This was the... <laughs> the positions were 827, but Kayunga, Kayunga, Kayunga. The second element was our young people in the persons of Nakwede, Zake, ETC, putting it in their heads that they would not allow the old man with the heart, Sabarwanyi, to peacefully drive from Kampala and address the NRM leaders at Kayonza Church of Uganda Primary School in Bali and at Osana Subcounty Playground. Of course, the police could not allow that. Hence, there were some skirmishes. This is exactly what NOOP did in the general elections in some areas and what they were planning to do in the whole, in the whole country if we had not deployed a considerable portion of the UPDF to crush that conspiracy. The idea is to create fear so that the massive supporters of the NRM do not come out to vote. You remember Arua, where they even stoned my car and Bob Wine was driving a greater tinga tinga into my convoy. This is self-deception. It cannot work in Uganda. I have given in writing guidelines to the armed forces to firmly and professionally ensure law and order and discipline in our society. I hereby direct our media unit to publicize these guidelines so that the public is also informed and can knowledgeably uh, audit audit the actions of the security forces and inform us if there are departures. Moreover, these guidelines are in line with the standing orders of the police forces, both here and in many other countries.
The third element of tragic comedy were the protestations by Inup that Muwangi of NRM had won by cheating. I did not know that NRM actors had enough energy to cheat because most of them, most of the time they are asleep and allow the opposition to intimidate people, people cheat ETC. Why only cheat in Kayume? Why not in the few other areas where NUP won? Kayunga, Uganda, and the whole of Uganda are politically NRM territory. Why? It is because the NRM has done more for those areas than anybody else. The internal weaknesses within NRM notwithstanding. We are handling the internal weaknesses, including corruption. The opportunistic opposition will be wiped out. Those concerned with ballot staff in ETC, why do they never support my plan for only electronic voting with the thumbprints? It is the opposition and their collaborators that always avoid voting electronically. We should amend the law to stop all non-electronic voting. That is what the Democrats should be demanding. I salute all of you and wish you a happy and prosperous 2022.